This week, we've got a shotgun inspired by Hot Wheels, the door that killed Jack, and no box skin. Where are they? Where are they? My name's Kino. Let's go through the eight new skins we've got this week. Up first, and we have the spray can garage door. Now, this is a glow in the dark garage door skin. It does look like something that'd be submitted to Art Attack by someone who wishes they were Banksy. It does have a very Asbo friendly feel to it. So, yes, it does look like Skittles have just been thrown at this door here, there, and everywhere, but at least it's got a bit of color, and we can't be mad about that. Up next, and we've got the manufactured wooden door, and I'm gonna be honest. It does look like someone watched Titanic, found the bit of wood that Rose was lying on at the end, and just decided to import that into the game. There's nothing creative or outlandish about this wooden door at all. I mean, come on, they could have at least worked it out where the code lock doesn't overlap over the ridges in the door. It just seems a bit lazy. Now we have a fan favorite, and that is the Skull Killer helmet, vest, and kilt. And I've got to say, this whole collection seems to be going from strength to strength. The quality and detail as you look at these items is just so, so unique. We have here on the vest, the claw marks as if you've been in a fight. And I absolutely love the look that you get on the helmet. Normally the helmet itself is quite square shaped, whereas this is quite chiseled as if you're a Chad. Um, so I really, really like the way they've done that and the way it sort of then morphs to your face. So here as well is the entire unit so far that we have and it doesn't look bad at all. It actually looks very, very nice. Up next, and we've got the Arctic Camo Poncho. Now I've got to say this is my favorite skin this week, purely because of how simple yet creative it is. I couldn't think of a better skin for this item, period. When you are early on in game, you want something that helps you be discreet, and that's exactly what this does. I think everyone's gonna see this in a wheel gym video sometime soon, and I think it's gonna be the most popular skin this week. Up next, and we've got the Desert Raiders AK. Now, this is, I've gotta say, a really, really nice gun. They've done very, very well on this. It's not glossy, it's very matte finish. I like it, the designs all over this. Really, really cool, very, very seamless. My only drawback that I can find is that should you find yourself in the desert wearing the Desert Raiders skin set, you are going to spend forever finding this gun if you drop it on the ground, purely because of how well I believe it blends into its surroundings. My only qualm is that, nothing else alone, apart from that, great skin. Now, if you like Hot Wheels, this is going to be the double barrel for you. And I've got to say what a welcome surprise this skin is. It is not a glow in the dark, which I'm sure it might be, and that would be a massive drawback for any of you who are looking to sit yourselves down in a bush and give a nice, friendly welcome to anyone who walks past you. The gun does look very sleek and has this icy cold feel with the flames in the front. I do like how the rings themselves do glow. However, they don't glow in the dark. So again, just a very cool little theme there. Uh, it's a nice skin, it's not so bad. It's the gun we didn't know we needed. Thank you so much for making through to the end of the video. My Discord is linked down below if you want to come hang out. I hope to see you all there.